Shut the pakia. She done. Here we got it. We got it off there. Oh, it's a little cutie, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All the stuff's got to be broke off it there, so this should snap right off here. But... Okay, folks, I got our little pan here. I snapped it off. The little form, you need some kind of underlayment like that in order to print uh, stuff that hangs out like that. But uh, there's our little pan. Show is. Okay, so I got some dirt on in here. I've been defrosting. It's uh, it's not great pay dirt, but it, uh, it's got a little gold in it. I'm not sure uh, how uh, much gold, if we'll see any or not in this little guy, but we're trying to get a nice worthy scoop here. Something like that. Give that a shot. See what we got out here. Oh, baby, I think we are. Uh, I think we're happening here. Let's do. Okay, Yoshi Pikita, just take it easy. Just take it on easy. There, I got something to do here now. Come on now. Hey, folks. I got that little pan here it's in these two pieces right I broke them apart this is just the underlayment piece that holds everything up that you know obviously you can't print in midair you have to have something to support it so it's kind of like a support underlayment piece and it gets created you can when you uh, basically slice the thing when you create the file so that's what that is pretty tough it took, a, it took a little bit to get it off there too. Now I have uh, some dirt here that I went through and I washed it a little bit and uh, I panned a little bit. I didn't see any gold right off the bat so I threw a little gold on in there and uh, set up some material I had out in the driveway. And so I just want to make sure we can get some gold in there so we can see something. <laughs> you can see it right there, right? But I'm going to of course mix it on in here a little bit. And, we're going to stir it all up like you do when you're panning. Yeah, this thing is, what this is, it's a, it's a pan, obviously, and, but it's got this ring, and it's a keychain. It should be about this big. <laughs> but we blew it up uh, to, like, full size. You know, we could make it a little bit bigger, probably, but this is just our, our practice test here, and I appreciate it, Colter. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I'm stratifying here. Got the material in there, obviously. It's uh, been uh, also classified uh, down to a quarter. And I know there's gold in this material uh, in like a whole five gallon bucket. You'll find some for sure. But this little, you know, it's only like, it's only like a handful in there. So yeah, I, I quickly looked at it. I didn't see nothing in there, but I threw some gold in there for sure. We get it to settle to the bottom. The reason you shake it, you stratify the material, right? And what that means is you got so much action and so much water in that material if you stick your finger in it you can feel your finger kind of easily goes to the bottom much easier than this when there's when it's not being stratified and the dirt is laying there heavy right so that's the reason you stratify it because you want that material to get loose enough and kind of free enough to float in the water that the heavy the heavy gold will fall to the bottom you know other heavy stuff Anyway, you guys know that. Most of you guys know that point, but I say it just in case we got a new person here. Shaking it back and forth, stratifying all the bigger stuff that will kind of float on the lighter or the, the heavier, smaller stuff will come to the top, right? Like that. And uh, you give it a little circular action and back and forth. I've never panned with one this small. <laughs> That's about twice as small as my smallest pan. Anyway, we're panning off. We got these big ripples on this side, right? We got the littler ones here. We're going to get it down here a little bit more before we go to the little ones. And you just let that water wash that dirt off like that. Now you, Kirk, you said... You said you never seen me pan or something. Well, she's coming together here, baby. I don't see no gold showing up yet, but it'll be in there. You saw it right there on top, so. Mm, might be even, a, I don't know, maybe half a gram or something. I don't know. A little bit. I just tapped a little bit in there out of a natural gold container of stuff that I collected. Uh, some of it this year. Anyway, a couple grams in there. 
And we ripped a little bit off, man, so we can we can do this with our newly 3D printed keychain pen. That's a pretty good size keychain. We probably put this one on one of those bathroom things, right? <laughs> yeah, I can't get it in my pocket. It's too big. Oh, good. Not panning away. Okay, I'm switching to the little side here now, guys. Yes, pan uh, or uh, this uh, material also is uh, PLA, Polter recommended. That is pretty versatile and. Uh, yeah, it'll melt, obviously. It melts in the underneath uh, 200C, it melts, you know. So, the, uh, put it out in the sun long enough, it'll probably melt. You just never know what you find in your dirt. Okay, getting down to the root of it now, guys. Get off some more of those big guys if I can. Let's see if I can get some of those guys off to the side here. This pan's so small, it's a little bit difficult to, like, rake your fingers to get off on the big stuff. Yeah, it's a little tough for that. Okay, I'm going to go to the littlest one now, guys. I could see a little gold showing up there, so we'll go to this one right in between the two riffles. Right there. Okay, we got our dirt down there. Now yeah, we'll skim off a smidge here. Got to go real slow now, right? It's a tiny, tiny bit. And you look for your gold, right? You can see gold there, but you don't want to see it sliding off here, right? Psst. Oh, my gosh. And I can see a little tiny bit of gold there, a real small piece. That's probably out of this dirt because it's got some real small fine gold in it for sure. And like I said, I quickly look, but you don't see that kind of uh, tiny gold, you know, if you quickly look typically. Got to have a pretty good pile to see it right away. Okay, well, anyway, that's about far enough, maybe. Let's roll this thing back. We get here. We know our panning works. Look at that. That's pretty. There might be a gram in there. Crap. That was heavy duty on the porridge, <laughs> on the porzations. Let's do a little tap up here and try it. You can't hardly tap it, right? Oh, that's pretty hard. <laughs> Being so small. Yeah, it works for sure, huh? Just goes to show you, you can almost use anything. Prospect a little bit of gold. Any old tin pan or anything. Yeah, we're starting to lose some of our gold. Yeah, this pan's got quite a nice ridges going this way too, in this little spot here. And of course everywhere, you know, on every as it's printing, right? It's making these little, little ridges, right? All right, we're going to call it, I think, there. A little pan works, baby. Looks good to me. So, uh, yeah, it works, baby. It works, baby. <laughs> Looking good. I'm really having fun with it. I'll try and figure something out. Uh, I can't remember all your questions, Johnny. <laughs> if I could remember them all, I'd answer them right now. But now i got to type them, I gotta type them in because I can't remember what they were. I know you talked about you wanted to know what the underlayment stuff was and if that was useful for something or anyway i think it's useful it kind of holds your pan real nice of course usually uh you're flat on the bottom as this one is too you can set it anywhere up in your waist computer she's like yeah i got that on my computer i'm not here for it oh. the that's what i thought it'd be good for you can set my pan right on in there like that that's really kind of cute all right. Peace, baby. I love you, man. Have a great day.